Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make or start to make some uh, chocolate chip cookies. Now these are a different type of chocolate chip cookie. It's from a recipe that I uh, saw um, various people make um, and they found it originally I think in the New York Times a guy, uh, a guy called uh, David Leite or Leite, L-E-I-T-E and he wrote an article which I read last night about making chocolate chip cookies and the history of them and such like and the recipe that uh, he used and that these other people have used actually takes 36 hours um, so you make the dough and then you chill it for 36 hours before you actually form the cookies and bake them um, now uh, apparently they're quite good if you do it after 12 hours they're better if you do it after 24 hours but they're the very best if you do it after 36 hours and they have a lot of chocolate in and the other different thing with these cookies is that instead of using just plain flour or all-purpose flour uh, these use a combination of cake flour and bread flour now uh, I'm going to use uh, just under two cups of cake flour 240 grams so if you don't have uh, cake flour but you do have plain flour or all-purpose flour then you can weigh the 240 grams or the two cups then take out four tablespoons of flour and put in four tablespoons of uh, corn flour or cornstarch and that will make it turn it into to cake flour. I'll just say that before we start so that now I can just refer to the cake flour. So the ingredients are 240 grams which is two cups minus one tablespoon of cake flour, 240 grams which is two cups minus three tablespoons of bread flour, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of course salt. Now I'm going to put all of those five ingredients into a bowl. Now you could sift these but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put them into the bowl and uh, then I'm going to stir them round with a whisk to get them amalgamated. And then I'm going to set that to one side and go on to the other ingredients. So for the remaining ingredients I have two medium eggs which would be large in the USA. I have 283 grams of uh, room temperature butter that would be uh, one cup and a quarter. I have um, brown sugar, light brown sugar, 250 grams which is a cup and a quarter. And I have 225 grams of caster sugar or granulated sugar, which is one cup and one eighth of a cup. I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then I have um, dark chocolate chips. Now, this is 565 grams of dark chocolate chips, um, which is uh, about three cups. I actually weighed out my chocolate chips and then I filled the cup three times um, and it's just about three cups and then we'll also need some extra salt sea salt to sprinkle on the top but we won't, don't need that for 36 hours so uh, the first thing I'm going to do with these other ingredients is to cream the butter and the sugar together and I'm going to do that in my stand mixer so I'll put the butter in And then both types of sugar. And I'm going to cream those together. Uh, 
and that's all mixed it together. So what I'm going to do is add the eggs in one at a time. And that will loosen it a little bit. And then I'm going to add the vanilla extract as well. And I'm going to mix this and uh, for three or four minutes. Okay, so I've mixed that together and um, it's quite fluffy now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the flour mixture in. And I'm just going to mix that on a slow speed just until it's uh, combined or just about combined. I don't want to over mix this. And that's just about combined. So what I'm going to do then is to put in the chocolate chips. I'm just going to mix this on slow again to get those mixed in. And that's it. So, the next thing to do is to chill this in the fridge. Now you could just put this bowl into the fridge, um, covered with cling film, plastic wrap, but I'm actually going to pull the, the dough out onto plastic wrap. So, now there's a lot of dough here and this um, will make 18 large cookies but it's going to make um, a lot more normal or smaller sized cookies so um, it's up, it would be up to you what size you want them. And uh, I'll give the cooking times for um, two different sizes when we actually get round to cooking them. So with that, like that, I'm wrapping it up. And that is going to go into the fridge for 36 hours and then uh, in 36 hours I will come back and I will have my oven preheated 
at 180 Celsius, that's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit, and I'll have baking trays lined with parchment paper ready for the cookies. And as I say, um, with this amount of dough, I can make a lot of cookies. In fact, I'll just weigh this and tell you the weight here is uh, 1,914 grams. So 18 cookies would be 100 grams each, just over, in fact, um, which is about three and a half ounces. So um, they would be large cookies. You could actually cut that down quite considerably and make them half the size or even smaller. Um, if you wanted to. So I'll be back in 36 hours and we'll go on and we'll make the cookies. It's now um, about 35 hours later and what I've done is I've taken one third of my cookie dough out of the fridge and I'm going to cut it into uh, six pieces which will weigh about um, 106 grams uh, 100 grams is three and a half ounces um, and so I'll just take off a piece and see that's too big so cut off a chunk and then I'm going to shape it into a round because it's still um, quite well, it's very cold. So there's my 106 grams for, for one piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it into a round with my hands. And that's, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And I'm going to put that onto the baking tray. I'm actually going to flatten it a little bit And I'm, uh, I will do that with all six. And so with them uh, rolled out roughly into rounds like that and flattened just a little bit, I'm actually going to um, just put a little bit of uh, sea salt on the top of each one. that's part of the reason for flattening, flattening it a bit to catch the salt and then I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 18 to 20 minutes they should turn a nice uh, golden color then I take them out and cool them and come back and show you the results now I'm making these large ones uh, and uh, my entire dough which was 1914 grams will make 18 of this size but I think you could quite easily um, cut them in half and make 36 or make them even smaller now if you were to do 36 which would be um, one and three quarter ounces or 50 grams each roughly then you would bake them for about 12 minutes but I'm going to bake mine for 18 to 20 minutes and when they've cooled down I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the um, six cookies for uh, 20 minutes actually. Um, I would have done them for 18 minutes but I forgot to press the timer so it was 20 minutes um, and they've turned out very well I have to say. They're, I've eaten half of this one but they're very large as you can see if I put that against my hand it's a complete handful um, so uh, I'll have a taste of this one mm. They have a nice caramel flavour uh, to the, the cookie itself and that's partly to do with the uh, um, light brown sugar that was used. It could also be to do with the ageing 
in the fridge for that 35, 36 hours, allowing um, the flavours to develop more fully. But it has a nice texture as well. It's sort of uh, crisp on the outside, but nice and chewy in the centre or in the middle. Very, very good indeed. And as I said, these are uh, basically a cookie that you could reduce the, the size of them and then reduce the amount of time you cook them for. Um, and that would be ideal as well. I will actually freeze the remainder of my dough and then I can cook in, in uh, two more batches on another occasion. And uh, these are from uh, that New York Times article and from David uh, Leite or Leite, I don't know how you pronounce his name, L-E-I-T-E. -E. Um, on my blog I put a link to uh, the recipe that he has on his website as well. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to the recipe and I'll put a link below the video for that as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.